Hi everybody, Hyler Tamerlane here with another Obscurity in Miniatures. Today we're going to take a look at the Ten Thunders Brothers. The Ten Thunders being their faction. Brothers because I'm guessing they're actually related. They don't really look related, but you know, who am I to judge? Because I don't look anything like my brothers, so what the hell do I know, alright? Right. Why don't we see what our brothers actually look like? So, inside the box we are greeted with the usual pile of cards. A card telling me to go to Weird's website, which I won't do. A baggie of bases. And a broken sprue. Why is it broken? Because whenever Weird puts these figures out, they tend to come in half sprues. And the half sprues don't fit in their long box. So, here we are. This seems to be the big brother. As you can see, he is quite big. Nice, easy to glue together parts. I like that. Thank you, Weird. This guy looks like he can actually go together without much hassle. I mean, really, we've got his hands right there. And they just pop in to his arms. We've got the back of his loincloth. I'm assuming the legs just glue in right there. We've got spots for his headband, or that's, I think, part of his face mask. Actually, my bad. We've got his conobol or titsubo or whatever it's called. That's going to slot in right there. So we're good. This is going to be an easy one. I'm looking forward to him because I'll be honest with you, this is the main guy that I really wanted. I was figuring we are going to use him in a game of Test of Honor or, <clears throat> or Ronin or one of those samurai type games. He's perfect for it. And then there's the other two Ototo. Let's see. We've got... The Leaping Samurai Brother, but they're not Ototo because that's somebody's name in the Ten Thunders with his Kusarigama or Kama or whatever they are. I don't remember my Japanese words. A pair of feet. And his hair. It looks like his hair is going to be in multiple parts. We got one, two, three right there. Not too bad. And then finally we have the last brother with his very long knives. Those are quite long. Longer than his leg almost. As well as a pair of claws. Interesting. It's nice to see they've got all their prayer beads there. Pair looks like part of his hair. Part of his hat. Where is his head? I honestly don't know. Ah. There is his face hiding. So interestingly enough, all three brothers seem to have face masks of some sort on. Yes, including Jumpy Guy right here, even though he's not in focus. So, give me a moment. I'm going to run away from grab my clippers and glue, and we're going to see just what these three brothers turn out like. All right. So, what I thought was going to be quite a simple task turned into a nightmare of frustration. Let's start with what worked. Big Brother. He went together nice and easy, because like I said earlier, he doesn't have a whole lot of parts, and he has his little um, loincloth thing to kind of cover up all of the messy glue bits. There he is. Fits nicely on a base. And let's see if I have a Malifaux figure handy. Just to get an idea. So, you can see he's a good size figure. If you're interested, and I mean, he's kind of a. I was thinking of using him like a. or the sumo wrestler in Forbidden Fortress, but he's just a cool looking martial artist that could be in a game of something like Test of Honor or Ronin or something. We'll set those to the side for the moment, and then we'll focus on the other two brothers. So, here is Brother. I don't know, Brother So and So turning his head and not able to really stand on a base, brother. His claws of his are super thin. His swords, or knives or whatever, are super thin. My fingers are super messy from having a glue, and you can kind of see his mask in there. He wasn't that bad, but he's definitely going to need something to stand on because, I mean, he's just like, it looks like he's skiing or something with his blades there. And then there's the final brother, the brother who I made an absolute mess of. His hair did not want to cooperate. 
Oh crap, yeah, it's not even glued on there. I don't know what the hell's going on with this guy's hair. It did not want to go together and he doesn't want to stay in focus. Screw you, buddy. Yeah, that's how I feel about that. Uh, his hands didn't want to glue on well. His, I put him on the wrong arms. His hair was just, oh, it was a mess. And I don't really feel bad because I didn't really pay much. And in the end, he's the only one I wanted. I guess two out of three brothers isn't bad. And honestly, they'll fit in well. I just need to give him something to stand on, I think. Either like a scenic base from Cool Mini or like just pile it up, like have him standing on top of a bunch of boxes. I think he'll be fine. Otherwise, uh, yeah. So how do they stack up if you're interested in using it for like something like Shadows of Brimstone? I think he's going to fit in really nice. Because here's one from Forbidden Fortress and here's one from... The good old-fashioned Western one, and you can see, I mean, he's kind of scaled pretty well. Even his sneaky brother with his ski pole knife blades, you could probably hang out with him. He doesn't want to stand. And then there's this little miserable miscreant whose hair doesn't want to go together, and I, I don't know what the hell. Uh, <sighs> yeah. Uncooperative, but I'll see if I can still salvage him. I bet I could. Hopefully, he's just going to need some cleaning up, especially on the arms. I think I at least aligned them somewhat, other than globs of glue everywhere. I unfortunately am a strict adherent to the good old-fashioned orange testers tubes of model glue. You know I can go pay for those fancy pants ones. I refuse. I want to get my fingers dirty and make a mess of everything and ruin my models. Because that's what we're all about, right? Right. With that said, big brother, my favorite brother, that dude, he's getting painted immediately. His other two flimsy floppy brothers, I don't know. Uh, be careful with these weapons of theirs too because they are super, super tiny and fragile as well. That said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with my obscurities and miniatures as always. Saying bye bye.